I, I, I ain't with that little, that little fake shit. Though. I mean, if you my nigga, you my nigga. I don't give a fuck where you turn. I got homies. Nigga, you used to do some nothing. Now it's me, Scar, man. Too, I'm gonna be like, shh. And I do what I do. Yeah, you know, what you do, you do that. What um, high school did you go to? Shit. I went to Jefferson, Lozinger, Fremont. Shit. Basically, that gang of probation schools. I can't never stay long enough. Why'd you go to so many different schools? Shit. Because I'm from Swan. <laughs> That nigga, I'm not turning nothing down. I don't care what the fuck in the mother principal office. You shouldn't have got at me in the principal office. I'm gonna get at you while I'm mad. I might can't get you that bad if I wait to the uh, nutrition lunch. I gotta wait while I'm fired up right now. And I feel it, and I'm gonna get you right now. That's how I go. What were some of the uh, t tougher schools that you attended where you had more problems? Shit. To be honest with you, though, I never really had no problems at no school because as soon as I get there, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to, I'm not, I ain't gonna never put myself out there. I ain't trying to meet nobody. But I be waiting for a nigga to do something. And when I show it, I'm gonna show it out bad. So I ain't got, I mean, you gonna have to, but shit, nigga, think twice. Set an early example. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get this out the way right now, nigga, because uh, this is what it is. Sometimes I ain't gotta set an example, because you, you can tell the real nigga from the fight. Tell about walk, talk, look, feed, you can tell. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never really had no problems at school if I had a problem, because I, cause I was the problem. You know what I'm saying, but it's, you know what I'm saying, like I said, shit, it's just what it is. Did you ever go to elementary school with someone who was your friend, but when you y'all grew up, he either became a crip? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Tell me how that relationship ends up going. I mean, that don't change because that's your that that's your, that's your boy. That's your fake nigga. You gonna let these colors change you? You know what I'm saying? If that's your nigga, he ain't gonna disrespect you. Let nothing disrespect. Really, I ain't worried about it. But that's just like if I bring somebody over here, I really wouldn't bring no crip over here. That ain't my get in. But just having his car break down something right there, and I'm white then, and I'm trying to press him, nigga, back up. You know what I'm saying? But if you out there wolfing and dissing with shit, that's on you. But if I see you trying to handle no better shit, nigga, I, I'm going to be a real nigga. And if a homie try to go against my word, I don't run shit. I don't want to run. But nigga, nigga, shit, I done paid my dues right here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Disrespect. I understand he from there. And from there, it's like, if you got a relative, his car break down, I'm going to be on him. But if you come out the cut like homie, that's my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to chill. Because niggas know, niggas know the real from the fight. What do you think is the biggest misconception that people that aren't from L.A., South L.A. have about people from a neighborhood like Swan or any other neighborhood? Shit, that's like they got little hoods out there and it ain't shit like how I hear, you know what I'm saying? But really, I mean, I know they look at it like, you know what I'm saying, a whole nother way, but shit, I really don't care because I know what's going on. I'm like, I look at them out there kind of weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I look at them guys like, nigga, y'all ain't bagging. Y'all ain't about y'all money with some shit going on. Y'all gonna get your boy. Yeah, nah, man. nigga, nah, nigga, this is turf. I wake up and go to sleep to this shit, so. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own opinion, you know what I'm saying? But I care about what I care about. I care about what they care about. What do you think about Swan Hoods popping up in, you know, the different corners of America and how maybe the government looks at it as, LA Swans is branching out and branching out and getting bigger and bigger. Is there any truth to that or is it just a bunch of kids trying to copycat what you guys are doing? Nah, it's niggas from here move out there. You know what I'm saying? And then this shit, they, they get it cracking. Like out there where I'm at, there's some gang up. I mess with some certain extent, but I mean, I ain't gonna say they fake. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they ain't no punk enough, but nigga, I for real do this shit. What I see y'all doing, it's not gang bagging. Y'all just, y'all just survive. Majority of times, it's homies that they move away from over here and they move go somewhere else for a change or whatever. You know what I mean? And they go out of town and the individuals out of town or whatnot keep out their swagger and like their persona or whatever. They see that they real. They see that real deal. They try to emulate that. So being that they are way out of town and they got their little homies around, their little homies just start calling themselves swans. You know what I mean? Because they looking up to whoever it is that they looking up to out there, which would be the homeboy. So that's how that shit go from one state, which is LA, to the next. Yeah, cause we everywhere. I go out there, shit. They, they talk me the homies. It's about 10, 15 niggas. I'm like, damn. Mm. So shit, uh, it's in Arizona. That shit yeah. everywhere. Red for the rubber swan at. Yeah, it's there. Best blade there. <laughs>